Pakistan's armed forces launch what was billed as an all-out offensive in June this year against militants in North Waziristan. It was regarded as their last remaining stronghold and the key to bringing greater stability to Pakistan. The Taliban and other insurgents were told, surrender or you will be killed. Hundreds of militants have died in Operation Zarb Azab. It's also displaced many thousands of civilians from the lawless region to other tribal areas and further afield. The operation followed the failure of a new initiative by Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif to negotiate peace with the Taliban, who've been responsible for the deaths of thousands of Pakistanis. This attack earlier this year on the airport in Pakistan's largest city and commercial hub, Karachi, was one of their most audacious operations. It was the airport attack that finally sabotaged the attempt to start peace talks, always controversial and opposed by those who argued it was doomed to failure. And there are parallels with a troubled neighbour to the north and west. The recent history of Pakistan and Afghanistan are linked not only through their people and the huge refugee exodus from here to the Peshawar area in particular from the Soviet occupation of Afghanistan onwards. They're also linked through the volatility and the conflict on both sides of the border. The two Talibans, the Pakistani and the Afghan, have their different agendas but common roots and ideology. And in recent weeks here, the security forces have been battling to contain an upsurge in Afghan Taliban suicide bombings and other attacks just ahead of the US and NATO completing their withdrawal of their combat troops. And Pakistan and Afghanistan frequently accuse each other of supporting the militant extremism they both face, and that seems to have no end in sight. Mike Wooldridge, BBC News, Kabul.